Hi hey YouTube, I'm coming to you today with a um, quick tutorial on how I touch up my daughter's locks. It's been a while since I retouched them because she doesn't like for me to retouch them. <laughs> but um, it's about that time. I usually try to let them grow out a lot before I go in and retouch them because the technique that I use, which is the sister lock method, um, which is the um, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock again method that I use on her hair. Usually it lasts for quite a while, so I don't have to go in and retighten them as much, but it is time for me to retighten them now and, um, well, overdue actually. So, um, but it, like I said, it does last a while. That's why I try to wait a while before I go in and retighten them again and like give her more inches of growth. As you can see here, she has a lot of new growth on this one here, but, um, well, period. But, um, I just wanted to come to you and show you how I do them and retighten them. I just finished washing them, um, shampooing them and um, putting a deep conditioning treatment in her hair. So um, I did the deep conditioner treatment and then she, now she has a leave-in conditioner that I put on her hair. And um, the products that I will be using is um, the Ampro Style Gel, a little bit of that. I will be using the, some of the Argan Oil Curl Wave Twist that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I'll be using this also on her twist and her scalp, which is the castor oil. It's pretty good. This does work well also. Um, I did a haul, Dollar Tree haul, and I said I would purchase this actually for my Tuyo who has severe um, eczema, and I purchased it for her to try on her scalp, and it has been doing very well on her scalp, so um, I've been using it on my other daughter's hair also. So, I will also be using rubber bands to hold the hair out of place, and I may apply them to some of the ends of her locks. And then I will be using the single prong clips. So yeah, I'm about to get started, and then I'm gonna come back and show you, um, the process of me doing it all right so stay tuned okay so I am back and this is the final results for my baby's locks and this is using the um, sister lock technique which is the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock again, technique. And she's actually, we've been growing these for, I want to say, maybe two, two years, a little over two years. So, yeah. Hold your hair back right there. And as you can see, I love using that technique because it really helps to grip the roots and get them tight. And then I probably just spray some of this on here. This is very good. It's the pink, um, Luster's Pink Glosser. And it has, um, it's a brilliant shine made with shea butter. Um, I guess it's pronounced jojoba oil and ole. I'm sorry. So I sprayed some. I did grease her scalp as I was doing each one. But I just sprayed some of that on there to give it a little extra shine. And like I said, I used the sister lock technique, which is the 12, 3, 6, and um, 9 o'clock technique, in which you take the hair and you, um, I use like a beading tool that you use the bead, um, 
the tool that comes in the um, package with the beads, I used that. I just cut the very tip off that has the hole at the end. And I used that to um, place this in the middle of it. And then I go in the top. And I go in the top of the twist and bring it through. And then I go in the right side of the twist and bring it through. And then I go under the twist and bring it through and then go into the left side and bring it through. And if it's not really tight, then I go back into the top and bring it down, which that's why they call it the 12, 12 3, 6, and 9 um, technique. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all the after um, results. And yeah, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe and share. Thank you, and you all have a blessed Saturday.